look at some of the length on that. Sorry. Tall wood. That's the, the stuff over here, that's what he's chipping right now is the bundle. I just pulled him. It's tall. This stuff here is spruce, and it was all planted differently. This whole property was planted differently. Like those are still spruce standing over there, because that got um, the guts cut out of it, and he wanted some trees standing there. And then the edges, it's hard to tell now, because the leaves are gone, but it has all this hardwood in it. And on that side, in that hardwood, was all Austrian. And there's still a row in there that's cut, actually. Zoom out all the way through. There's a row that goes all the way back to the driveway. Now on the outside, you can see that bundle there, bundle there. Bundles are all on the outside yet. Now on this side, we had some spruce. That bundle there isn't that impressive. But that lined all here, all the way to the property line. And then in the mix of all that hardwood, which that's just little baby stuff, which is why we kept it, because the landowner wants it, we cut a bunch of uh, scotch out of it. So all that scotch right there was scattered throughout all that. And so what he wants was his hardwood to grow. So, by going in there that's a white pine root that must not have been in the contract so going in there took all that out left him all nice hardwood standing along that edge went in there thinned it and then as you can tell hardwood's all along here and then there's more spruce back there but this was all planted all planted spruce in there so that's why you have those taller ones in there and then there was an Austrian there's still a little section right there Right in the middle there, that's Austrian. That's a buffer for the road out there. So that's why that's still there. But what I was getting at is there, these rows of uh, spruce were just crazy tall. Crazy tall. Here and there, but like that one there is not that tall. The, the uh, scotch was just meaty. Just had the big meat to her, but it just wasn't crazy tall which that stuff chips up just fine it chips up just fine but then there's more down there that pile of spruce right there is some of the best i've ever seen uh, the stuff up here i mean that's just goofy crazy tall so chips are just to flying out right now we're zooming out of here pretty quick because I had a little patch of goodness right here. I've already thinned all that wood's out of here. That was the last bundle for that row. And then there's one bundle sticking out where a skid trail come on over here. So that's all done through there. Got I'm, I'm start way to start over here now. I'm going right through here. So I'll get these bundles, grab these uh, scotch, and that spruce, and then grab that one. And then I'll jump over here, clean this up. And then by that time, uh, he's working on the other side. He's got, he was working on that patch, got that patch cleaned up. And then there's all the pre-skid bundles that we skid because we had to skid them from the driveway is right there between us and that camper. All that wood right here had to go all the way around. He's got a house all the way around, down that edge of the property line, all the way up and over. So we already skidded that up. That's over there stashed in a pile. Um, but 
you still have uh, one row of Austrian that goes all the way back to there. And then you have about uh, one more row of spruce that goes the same way. And then you have the Austrian that starts about right here and goes all the way back there that we haven't touched yet. Um, and then there's still a lot of pre-skids out there in the guts of her. So it's working out good. But uh, the timber here is, it works out good for us. The chip's good. As long as the chippers hold together, which I think, I was, we were just talking, we were like, dude, sunshine. I feel like we haven't had sunshine in like seriously uh, weeks. It's been nothing but rain every day up here. Um, rain, rain, rain. Truck stuck, pull them in, push them out, pull them in, pull them back, push them out. I do that every day. So, got a single there. We'll grab that with that. I get both of them with that one. So, anywho, a little bit of update on the job. Uh, fun, fun. So, we got we got wood just stashed. And you can actually see there might be more than that one row. There's another row beyond that. The wood here adds up. Like that. When you got that big stuff, it adds up. It adds up. When they get tall, it makes everybody's life a lot easier. Pushing a truck out here. We've got a little bit of a lean. Okay, over in trying to touch these trees over here. Something really annoying that happens is people like to tell you to do their job that don't know how to do your job because they want to tell you what to do to fix it and they're like oh somebody told me today you need to go out there and fix that road because it's leaning one way i said okay how can i fix that road and they're like uh i said you have a straight blade Should be, he should be good from here. I said, you have a straight blade on this machine, so if you're leaning like this, going out of here, how do I fix that? I don't, I don't have a, I can't tilt my blade at all. And these tires go into ruts. And as you can tell, I have no room on either side to do anything. The one guy, the one, the one driver told me, we need to crawl to the right because I need to crawl to the right to get away from those trees. I says, well, sun's bright we're not used to it there's a car coming i'll be fine but i'll get out of the way just to be safe and they said uh crowd to the right or left it'd be opposite i'm waiting for you boss that way i don't go in that rut and i stay away from the trees well how can i do that let me sh show you what i'm talking about how can i y'all are smart crowd to the left on that trail there's trees down the whole thing I can't crowd anyway the skitter tires go where the skitter tires go that's all there is to it when it comes to this I can try to knock the center out but as you can tell this side over here is lower well if it was on if it was the other way it would be fine because these trees right here but these want to lean over because they're going towards the sunlight but I'm like, I can't really do anything with that. It just gets frustrating when people are like, oh, you're gonna need to do this. Well, show me. I don't know how. So, anyways, I'm gonna knock the center down and try to help, but it really ain't gonna help at all. But I tried to crawl the right, get the blade to not roll that. We need the dozer here, we don't have it here, so just keep rolling. <laughs> 